Good morning guys, good morning and welcome to the Berks of Aberfeldy in Perthshire. This morning we're off for a lovely walk along the river, see if we can get some stunning autumn woodland shots and some waterfall shots as well. absolutely loving this new camera. The b-roll I'm going to be able to get on this once I get used to it is going to be phenomenal. Anyway we've come to the woodland to try and get some woodland photos. I'm not very good at woodland photography, I never seem to get the exposure right and trying to find compositions is sometimes very difficult as well. If you want to see somebody that's really good at woodland photography I'd highly recommend checking out Simon Baxter's page. His woodland photos are absolutely phenomenal. I wasn't sure what the woodland was going to look like today. Some of the trees have really turned already and some of them haven't. So we're going to try and find some really vibrant orange trees and basically see if we can get some really nice autumnal photos against the stunning waterfalls and rapids that come down this river. Oh, I am excited. This should be a really good morning. Woodland Walk is basically made famous by the poet Robert Burns, or Ravi Burns as many Scottish people call him. I think it was actually a song called The Berks of Aberfeldy, and I think he wrote it somewhere sitting here overlooking this gorgeous river. And that river was basically, or this burn should I say, was basically his inspiration for some of his work. So I did this walk a couple of years ago and basically if I remember rightly this side of the walk was a really really good side, very good for photos overlooking this burn, absolutely stunning. The other side is basically just full of trees, there's not much interest in the foreground. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves right to the end of the first half of this walk, scout out locations along the way, so when we walk back this way on the way back we're going to stop exactly where we want to take photos. So far Oh my goodness, up hell. So far, I've already found two bits along this area that I'd like to take photos of on the way back. So I'll definitely be doing that. Oh me. This is tiring. Really, really tiring. many beautiful waterfalls around here, absolutely stunning waterfalls. Just everywhere you literally walk, there's another waterfall after another one after another one. It's absolutely stunning. But for me so far the best compositions have been down by the river. So we're going to keep walking. I know at the end of this walk there is a fantastic waterfall, a huge massive one. So we're going to head up to that one, take some images and then work our way back down the burn. That waterfall is so unbelievably beautiful, absolutely stunning. So now we're retracing our steps and heading back down towards the car park area and this is the way back where I'm going to start taking photos. I think it's quite important sometimes if you've not been to a location for many years or you've never been somewhere before, if you have the time, scout it out before you start taking photos. So many times in the past I've gone to a location and I've started snapping everywhere decent that I could see. And then you discover that as you walk further, that actually there's better spots further on. And then you feel frustrated because you end up running out of time. So if you have the time, do a quick walk, find out what you want to take photos of first, and then go back to all the best locations on the way back. That's exactly what we are doing today. Although it's really annoying because the best photo opportunities I've found today here are right back at the start near the car park, down by the burn. Because last time I was here, I think there must have been a lot more rain than what there has been the last few weeks, because 
All the waterfalls we've passed on the way up were so much more, you know, full of water. Whereas today they're quite dried up. So they're not, wouldn't make for as good an image as, as they would have done two years ago. But again, that just shows you that when you come back to a location, every time you come it's going to look different. No matter where you go, something's going to be different. The light's going to be different, the water's going to be different, just whatever. So anyway, we're heading back down to the burn. I'm going to take some nice images of the water flowing down the river with some nice autumnal trees around it and hopefully I'll get some cracking long exposure images and we'll just see how it goes. But this is beautiful. This, I hope this video shows you just how phenomenal getting out in the autumn is. Just getting out with your camera or just getting out for a walk in the woodland. It is so beautiful. So unbelievably beautiful. by this lovely waterfall here. However, I'm not photographing the waterfall up the hill because I find this composition here is far more interesting. This acts as a leading line down into the lovely bridge and obviously we've got these autumnal leaves and trees going over it as well. Just to talk you through what I'm doing with my camera, I've basically, I've got my polarizer on here and I've also got a uh, six stop neutral density soft grad filter as well just to kind of get some of the highlights out of the sky I absolutely love this, it's just phenomenal I was not expecting to find trees so well turned here today I kind of thought that we were a bit early for the full autumnal colours but this is stunning and I love this image by the river near where the Robbie Van Burn statue is and basically I'm using this kind of um, rapid coming down here as a leading line into the image and then we've got some lovely autumnal leaves on the rocks as well so I've got a similar setup to last time although this time I've only got my polarizing filter on my camera instead of everything else and I've kind of got this nice composition going here like that any of that last couple of images because when I turned around to get my vlogging camera um, I discovered there was a massive group of people behind me watching so yeah I got a bit of vlogger stage fright anyway I hope you can see kind of what I was trying to achieve with those images I was trying to get some of the leaves that were coming down on the branches that were changed to orange and yellow colors against a slightly long exposure and uh, fast flowing burn basically all I was using again was a polarizing filter and a soft grad neutral density filter just to try and kind of get the exposure between the, the sky and the river a little bit more even. That was giving me kind of like an exposure rate of kind of two seconds just through doing that. So there's no need for me to put on any more filters than that. There's one little bit more of the burn down here that I want to photograph just underneath the bridge that you saw us passing at the start of this vlog. And then after I've done that, it'll be time for lunch. So I just hope I can get one more half decent image before the end of this morning. image 
job today and look at this stunning waterfall rapid thing here underneath that beautiful bridge. I really, I've just taken the image and I absolutely love it and I hope you guys will like it as well. It's got these lovely autumnal branches coming over the waterfall. Absolutely beautiful. What a fantastic way to end an autumnal morning photo shoot.